A frequently asked question that we get in our comment section is how do I as a homeowner figure out slope? I'm going to show you how to do that for under five dollars. Take one of your shovels, jump on it in the trench, or it could be outside of the trench. You'll see why. I didn't have much room to work with here, so jump on, jump on the other shovel, have yourself a hundred inches in between. Measure it to be a hundred inches. So I am a hundred inches between shovels. Now, if one inch, if this measures one inch higher from the bottom of the trench to the string than it does upstream here, because we're draining it to the corner of the yard, then that would mean I have 1% slope. And I'll show you, I'm gonna give you an example. So make sure your line level bubbles be right in between the, right in between the lines there. Make sure it bubbles. So that line is level. All right, so let's let's see what we measure at here. Okay, so we're 50 inches from the bottom of the trench to the level line. Let's go down here. Now we're downstream. We're downstream, keep that in mind. All right, so we're 53 inches. That means we have three inches of drop in a hundred inches of run that means there's three percent slope on this trench i hope this helped all my diyers out there here's some dual wall some dual wall boffman dual wall six inch tile taped you know we get a lot of questions about the downspouts you know like here i got a short gutter run and there i got a short gutter want run so we basically tied two four inch into a four inch once we get to a third we're going to six inch we ain't screwing around we want to make sure that we handle that roof water i don't want it to back up and end up overflowing along the footing of the home causing a water problem possibly in their basement as you can see we work on plywood like we always do when we get this in we're going to mend the sprinkler line like we always do we just cut those get the system in go ahead and put couplers and clamps and as you know we cut the sod off when we leave it looks just as we found it but again here's a nice DIY point you know and as the DIYers if you're you know slowly chipping away at a system buy a few pieces of plywood to do this is makes the dirt easy to shovel off and you could move it, like do a section at a time, maybe 200 inches at a time. You know, and I was gonna say, if you want 1% slope and you wanna string the, the shovels further apart, you can go 200 inches and dig until you got two inches to drop to get to your 1%. If you want 2% on a 200 inch run, you need four inches a drop. So. You can do that if you don't want to go just 100 inches you want to bump it up but i'm trying not to confuse you guys and put you in some sort of a french drain man spin cycle i know i have a tendency of doing that so i'm trying to make this as clear as possible all the units are in inches 100 inches apart i measured in inches so however much drop you have in inches one inch equals one percent slope two inch equals two percent slope and so on and like I said, if you wanted to extend this to 200 inches, then you got to double it. Two inches equals 1% slope. Four inches equals 2% slope on a 200 inch run if you want to space the shovels out further. But for just starting out, do your 100 inches and shoot for your one inch a drop downstream. All right, guys. Until next time, let's all work hard to do it right the first time. We're going to keep it simple. You DIYers, stay tuned for more high octane.